as if awakened from a slumber, Alex Rodriguez and the Yankees erased a decade's worth of postseason frustration in 2009. Continues Perhaps more important than his 365 average during the playoffs was A-Rod's ability to deliver in the clutch with four huge hits that swung momentum squarely in the Yankees' favor. With Rodriguez and Hideki Matsui combining for 10 postseason home runs and 39 RBIs, the Bronx Bombers were well on their way to their 27th World Championship and their first since the 2000 season. Yankees win the pennant. Back at the wall, Rodriguez goes deep to the second baseman, Cano. The Yankees are back on top. World champions for the 27th time. baseball in the Bronx, New Yankee Stadium, as it'll be the site for this edition of Major League Baseball presented by the show. Straight ahead, it used to be a battle between Brooklyn and the Bronx, but now it's a battle between East Coast and West Coast, as it'll be the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the New York Yankees. And hello once again, everybody. Alongside Dave Campbell, Matt Vaskersian, we get set to bring you what should be an entertaining ball game. Also with us, 10-year Major League vet Rex Hudler. And Hud, we turn to you first. What catches your eye in this one? Well, we've got a couple of starting pitchers in this one that are both capable of throwing shutouts. So it'll be interesting to see which one of these two blinks first. All right, Rex, thanks. And Dave, we'll hear from you in just a moment. But first, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the two-time defending NL Western Division champion Los Angeles Dodgers brought to us by State Farm. At home or away, State Farm is there. Rafael Fercal will lead things off and be the shortstop. Following him is Matt Kemp out in center. Right fielder Andre Ethier follows him. Manny Ramirez will bat in the cleanup spot and play left. James Loney is the number five hitter. He's at first base. Casey Blake follows him at third base. Russell Martin is behind the plate. He'll hit seventh. Jason Repko will bat eighth and be the DH this afternoon. Ronnie Belliard will round out the order. He will play second. And set to face these guys is a 19-game winner from a year ago, three-time All-Star CC Sabathia. A look there at the Yankees' defense, anchored by a three-time Gold Glove winner Mark Teixeira at first and a four-time winner at short, the captain Derek Jeter. So now Rafael Furcal gets ready to stand in as we're just about ready for baseball. Foul back. Play ball. And a fastball just misses. It's one and one.
in there, one and two now. Yeah, good late movement. Just did catch that inside corner. Now the pitch. Lays off, two and two now. Ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. And he's making him throw a lot of pitches to open up the game here. Guys get to see what he's got. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. He'll try it again, three and two. And oh, ball four now to Furcal. So a dangerous stolen base threat is aboard to lead off the ball game. Well, Furcal's normally a guy that's up there hacking, but good patience to milk the walk. Now let's see if they want to get him moving. Matt Kemp will get his first shot at it here. Lays off a fastball, looked good, but it's 1-0. and oh. And you could just see Sabathia rear back and overthrow that one. He's got to relax and find his spots here. Here's one hit towards the hole, and that is past A-Rod and Jeter, a base hit. And he's safe. Well, let's have a look and see where this thing is. Low inside corner, usually a good spot, but obviously they didn't do their homework because this is a guy that can handle that pitch. Andre Ethier will dig in here. First pitch coming. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. One oh pitches a slider, swung on and missed one and one. Came right back at him with that one. None out, runners at first and second. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Manny Ramirez waits on deck. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Second walk already here in the first inning. He's just setting himself up to make this a short outing if this continues. Manny Ramirez digs in now with a chance to do a little damage and give his club the lead in the early going. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. Gardner is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Sacrifice fly in the RBI that time, as you got to figure he got the job done there. James Loney will take his cuts now. Here's the first pitch to him. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. Ball one. And 
he takes that one that misses. It's two and one. Here he comes on two and one. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Casey Blake will be next, barring a double play ball. On the ground to second base. This could be two. And that's through for a base hit. Two runs in already here in the inning. Now it becomes time to take a deep breath and try and minimize the damage. An extra base hit here could really be disaster. Casey Blake will get his first opportunity now. Now batting, Casey Blake. Grounded foul. Change up and it's 0 2. And down 0 2 now. Let's see if they go back to the hard stuff. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. 0 2 count. Obviously, not trying to do this on purpose. And man, that'll get you pounding your glove as a pitcher. Russell Martin will stand in with a golden opportunity to open this thing up early on. Russell Martin. Now a soft liner to the right side. Foul. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. Jeter. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. Maybe not exactly what he wanted, but the ground ball will get him an RBI. Jason Repko will stand in. Ball in the dirt as it gets away a bit. And I'm very surprised, Matt, that they decided to stay where they were. You've got to be bouncing out there. And that's in there for his strike one and one. Three runs already home here. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. Up to an even 30 pitches here in the first inning. Now a ball hit back up the middle. Oh, and he throws it away. Great job to get to the ball, but as you see, he's going to get rid of it in a hurry, and the off-balance throw can't find the target. So runners at the corners with two gone. And stepping in is the second baseman, Ronnie Belliard. Now back, Ronnie Belliard. Oh, and an ugly swing there. It's 0-1. Four runs here in this half inning. From the belt, the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And behind the back, he gets his man at second to retire the side. Wow! So it's four runs on just two hits, one error in the inning, and two men left on base. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. Dodgers out in front, four to nothing. Starting lineup for the Yankees looks like this. Leading things off is the young center fielder, Curtis Granderson. In the two-hole, the captain, Derek Jeter. He'll, of course, play short. In the three-hole, the powerful Mark Teixeira. He's at first. Then the always dangerous Alex Rodriguez. He's over at third base. Then comes the promising Robinson Cano. He'll play second base. Jorge Posada bats sixth behind the plate. Nick Johnson is the DH today in the number seven spot. Behind him is Nick Swisher out in right. 
Brett Gardner will bat number nine. He is in left. They'll match up against the big guy you see there, the hard-throwing right-hander Chad Billingsley. And behind him defensively, there you see the Dodgers alignment led by a first-time gold lover, Matt Kemp, in center field. And striding in now is the center fielder, Curtis Granderson, to start the bottom of inning number one. Now batting, Curtis Granderson. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. To his left, he's up with it. Throw by for Kyle, and there's one down. Ball tailing away from a left-handed hitter, and all he could do was reach out over the plate and hit an easy grounder to short. Derek Jeter will stand in for the first time here. Fouled straight back. Here it comes. And strike two now as Jeter swings and misses on that one. One out, nobody on. Swing and a bullet to the right side. And a base hit for Jeter. Well, this is a good job of recognition as a hitter. He knows that down 0-2, he's got to protect the outside part of the plate, and he's able to do so. Mark Teixeira will step in now. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two for call. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. The Dodgers lead it four to nothing. Rafael for call will bat here. No official at bat, but he's scored a run thus far. Here's the first offering. Sabathia really putting all of his body behind that fastball. It's strike one. Now a ball rolled slowly down the third baseline. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Matt Kemp will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. The batter, Matt Kemp. And here's the first pitch. And he lays off there 1-0. Ball slapped hard the opposite way. Swisher is right there as he takes it for the second out. Andre Ethier will stride in. He walked and came around to score his first time. Swung on and fouled straight back. Two out, nobody on. Here's the pitch. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. And an off-speed pitch. Swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. On now to the bottom of the second. LA's on top, four to nothing. Alex Rodriguez 
will start things off in the bottom of the second. Now batting, Alex Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Here's a swing and a high pop-up out in front of the mound. Settling under it is Blake, and he's got it for the first out. Robinson Cano will be the batter. This is hit on the first pitch to for call it short. Throw to first will take care of him, and it's a good start to the inning for Billingsley. Two away. Jorge Posada steps in now. And there's the fastball Billingsley has that we've heard so much about. Good for strike one. The pitch. And he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0-2. Nothing across here this half. We'll go now to the top of the third. Dodgers lead this one four to nothing. Manny Ramirez will dig in. He drove in a run with the sacrifice fly his first time. Out running, Manny Ramirez. Now here's the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. And here in the early stages, he's already up over 40 pitches now. Changeup stays outside and he's behind 2-0. and And for a guy with as much power as Manny has, he's also very adept at working the count. And he gets this fastball over. It's 2-1. and one. Side for a ball as he falls behind to him here three and one James Loney is on deck now a ball mined to the right side and a base hit now as that's how the third inning gets underway not in time and he's in there with a double well, he kicks this inning off with a bang as a leadoff double has him in business now with nobody out. James Loney will step in, an RBI single this last time around. Rolled softly down the line, and that is a foul ball. In on the hands that time, one and one. No one out with a runner at second. And that's more of a slur than a slider, but whatever it is, it's one and two. And this pitch is popped straight up right around the home plate area. Posada battles the sun a bit, but has it for round number one. Casey Blake will try it again a bit sore this time. He was hit by a pitch in his first at-bat.
On the ground for A-Rod. Throw on to Teixeira, two down. Russell Martin will stand in. He reached on a fielder's choice his first time. Now batting, Russell Martin. Swing and the ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Come set, now the pitch. And he takes this one high, one and one. Might have wanted to go up and get that one, but wisely laid off. Here's a swing and a ground ball. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Dodgers out in front, four to nothing. Nick Johnson makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Fastball, and that ran in on him as he had to limbo out of the way that time. is heading out toward left field but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd here's the one one pitch swing and a miss good sinking action there one and two checks his swing here but he does so in time Struck him out. Well, this pitch looked to be up. We'll get a look at it on pitch track. And, yeah, you see it. That thing's a good two feet above his belt. He's got to be more selective up there, even with two strikes. Come on, show some plate discipline. One out here in the Yankees' third inning. And stepping in is the right fielder, Nick Swisher. Here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first is in time to take care of Swisher, and there are two away now. Brett Gardner will get his first shot at it here. Bases are empty here with two men out. Strike two called on the inner half. 0-2 now. And he's just saying, here's my fastball. Try and hit it. Got him in an 0-2 hole now. Fastball, then this one runs in on him as he has to dance out of danger there. Strike three here, but now the ball gets away. Boy, and slow out of the box that time as he's tagged out quickly. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Three innings complete. The Dodgers lead it four to nothing. Jason Repko will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Now batting, Jason Repko. Good fastball from Sabathia to start the at-bat at strike one. And you don't want to lose concentration to a guy like this. And the pitch. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Hit hard towards second, but an atom bowl right to him for the first out. 
Ronnie Belliard will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. The batter, Ronnie Belliard. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Rafael for call will step in. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. He set now the pitch. And they start him with one high and away for ball one. And the infield's into double play depth here as a ground ball could get him out of the inning. And he pulls back the bunt attempt, 2-0. and oh. Yeah, make him throw a strike when you're bunting. Here's the 2-0 -oh pitch. Down and in, not hard to lay off that one, and it's 3-0. Runner at first here, one man out. And that's in there, three and one. <laughs> you can bet he wishes he didn't have the take sign that time. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Now a ball hit high in the air, deep down the line in left. Hooking just a little, and that ball is gone as he tucks it over the wall down the left field line. Matt Kemp will step in, one for two in the ball game. First pitch coming, and he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. close with the slider there but it's one and one bases are empty one man out and he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away swinging a ball line softly down the left field line and that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line Well, there's something to be said for being a good bad ball hitter. That one was out of the zone, but he got a base hit anyway. Andre Ethier will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Now back, Andre Here's a fastball called for strike one. And boy, his location has really been an issue in the inning. That pitch is right down the middle. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And that's in there. Base hit. And Matt, look where this thing is. Bearing down and in. I tell you, no one likes the ball down there. But this is good wrist action here. And he handles it as well as you can. So first and second with one man gone. And standing in the always dangerous left fielder, Manny Ramirez. fastball just misses for ball one and obviously a double play ball would be big here as it would get him out of the inning and he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate here as that misses runners are at first and second with one away and it looks like they don't want to give in to Manny here it's three and oh this is a very good hitter up here see he might get the green light on three and oh and that's low ball four well, two runs are already in here in the inning, so walking more guys is not going to get him out of this inning any sooner. James Loney will step in. One for two in the ballgame. Now batting, James Loney.
Right-hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. Play ball. And that's taken for strike one. And one of the reasons this guy's been in the bigs for so long is that he knows the importance of first pitch strikes. Bases are loaded here, one man out. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Here's a swing, and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And a second run is across. Well, the bases were loaded, but he promptly unloads them with a three-run triple. Casey Blake will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Now batting, Casey Blake. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. One out and a runner on third. And, hmm, a ball outside apparently, one and one. Next pitch will make an even 80 pitches for Sabathia. Signed from Posada. Now the one and one in for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. And this is just an instance of being overmatched by a fastball. He was way late on that one. Russell Martin will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Now batting, Russell Martin. First pitch to him. Too high, 1-0. Oh. Might have been trying to overthrow that one a bit. Ball hit out towards Cano at second. On to first, and it's in time as they're finally able to retire him. So this once slim lead is slim no longer as five runs come across to score to help build a substantial advantage. To the bottom of inning number four we go. L.A.'s on top, nine to nothing. Chris Granderson will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch coming. Well, he gets the inning started with a bang as this is hit high and deep to left field. And that ball is out of here. Well, this is all about a pitcher losing his concentration up there. He's just trying to put one over and get ahead, but you can't underestimate the guy with a stick. He can make you pay. Derek Jeter will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. First pitch to him. Swing and he misses. He's underneath that one for the first strike. And he would have needed an oar to hit that one. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. And here it is again. He thinks the thing's low, but you can see pretty clearly that this thing comes right in at his knees. That's a good call. Mark Teixeira will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. Cut fastball inside, ball one. Yeah. 
swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. Now the one and one pitch. One and two now. And Teixeira is not nearly as strong a hitter from the left side as he is from the right, as evidence there. Looked like a fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. And you'll see where this is, in a little off the plate, and he's got to learn to lay off that thing. So two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth, and here comes A-Rod. Throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Oh, and this guy's been around long enough to know not to swing at that garbage. Bouncing ball back up the middle. Throw on to the first baseman, Loney, and the side is retired. So one run here. On one base hit, the home run. No errors, and no one left on base. On to the top of inning number five we go. Dodgers out in front, 9-1. Jason Repko will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Now batting, Jason Repko. And that misses ball one. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. and oh. And he's going to need to rein that one in a bit because he'll get beat if he keeps leading pitches up. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Now the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. And this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. Well, and these are the kind of things that have gotten him in a hole in the first place. As a pitcher, you're going to run into all sorts of trouble if you can't get the leadoff man out. Ronnie Belliard will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. Now Ronnie Belliard. Right on. Chad Gaudin will be the new pitcher. Play ball. Here's the first offering. Ball one. And this one's in the dirt. Oh, and it's over his head. And that runner's flat-footed that time. He's got to be moving on those. On good opposite field power here as this fastball is taken high and deep to right. Swisher is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Hey, guys, even their outs in this game have been loud ones so far. These guys are really hitting the baseball this afternoon. Rafael for call will dig in. One for two, including a home run thus far. Now batting, Rafael for call. In there, strike one. You know they'd love to get him something he could hit on the ground here. Maybe get him out of the inning. A look now the pitch and he gets a piece of it here but it's chopped foul Double. runners on first with one down just did get a piece of that one so he stays alive here just does stay alive as this is foul back A 
Another 0-2 coming. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Boy, and no factor up there with that swing. He was way late on the fastball. Matt Kemp will dig in. He singled and later scored his last time. Now back. Starts him out with one high and tight, ball one. And he buzzed him with that one a bit. Swing and a ball lined hard towards short. And that's through, a base hit. Well, three hits, three singles. He's been nothing if not consistent, that's for sure. Andre Ethier will step in, one for two with a walk thus far. Now batting, Andre Ethier. Fastball in there for a called strike. Two down, runners at first and second. And there's ball one. Slider just off the black there, and it's to two and one now. Trying to backdoor him, but it stays outside just a bit. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. And now the runners will be off and moving with the pitch. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Last half of the fifth coming up. Dodgers lead this one 9-1. to one. Robinson Cano will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Now batting, Robinson Cano. Oh, he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Swing and a line drive. Oh, and he misses it. Well, they got the leadoff man on here to begin the inning, but they're going to need to string a few hits together to get back in this thing. Jorge Posada will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Cano holding, here's the pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Outside with the cut fastball there, and it's a two-ball count. That cutter started coming back, but not far enough. Nobody out, runner on first. Cut fastballs in for a strike two and one. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Now the 2-2 pitch. 
swing, and ooh, he saws him off with that one. But this is a foul ball. And he struck him out, so he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Not the greatest of starts for him here this afternoon. He has looked pretty overmatched in his first two at-bats, both strikeouts. Nick Johnson will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Nick Johnson. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. Got to have a little better plate coverage up there. Runner at first here, one man out. Good swing by Johnson, but he still comes up empty. Nothing in two. Swing and a line drive. Ethier is there. Two down. Nick Swisher will stride in. Grounded out his last time through. No better. Nick Swisher. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0. Oh. Yeah, and he'll look for something a little higher here. Swing and a miss for strike one. Is that bat 34 inches or 64 inches? That was way out of the zone. 1-1 one, one on the way. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Brett Gardner will dig in here. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. This one will be foul back in among the fans. From the stretch. Struck him out, so they work out of the jam as he strands two men in scoring position. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Five innings complete. The Dodgers lead it 9-1. to one. Manny Ramirez. We'll get things started here in the top of inning number six. The batter, Manny Ramirez. First pitch coming. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. Getting ahead, always a key when you're facing a guy like this. Good pitch there as Manny falls into an 0-2 hole now. Now the pitch. Down the line, but this is a foul ball. A swing and another ball that I believe will find its way into the seats. Still 0-2. Fastball and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. And that's a good two-strike pitch there as now it might be just to set up something away. And that's taken outside for a ball so he's worked it back to 2-2 two two now. Here's the two and two offering. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Yeah, you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate. And Manny a little too quick for his own good this time as it's pulled into the seats down the left field line. That's 
and he swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. Oh, and he can't track it down as this ball falls. Well, these guys just do not want to let up right now. And heck, who can blame them? Get as big a lead as you can now and hope to get this one safely in the bag as soon as possible. James Loney will get another shot. He cleared the bases with a triple his last time. Runner at first, Manny, the pitch, and a ball, 1-0. And, oh. and he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him, 1-1. One and one. ball straight back line hard to the left side outside two balls and two strikes the count now That's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Opposite field to left. In there, a base hit. And he is in there. 12 hits now for him in the ball game. Three of them by this guy right here. He is really pacing this offensive attack. Casey Blake will step in. 0 for 2 with a hit by pitch in this one. Now batting. Casey Blake. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Setting up down and away that time. That's not a bad spot to miss. Line hard into left. And he reaches up to haul this one in on the run. Nice play for the first down. Russell Martin will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Now batting, Russell Martin. And he lays off a fastball, looked good, but it's 1 0. Looks like he might be getting squeezed a little bit there. And this Wait. one's over for a high strike, 1 and 1. Rounded to third. This could be two. Throw on to Teixeira. Two down. Little over anxious that time. He went out of the strike zone to get that one, and it didn't pay off for him. Jason Repko will step in. A base hit in his last time. Now back. Jason Repko. First pitch on the way. Ball one. Yeah, looking to run that thing back to the low inside corner, but that's not one guys will chase very often. Boy, in a mid-80s fastball that time, but it's a called strike one and one. Here's the one-one. Now a changeup is bounced to second. Throw on to Teixeira to take care of him, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. Dodgers out in front, 9-1. to one. Curtis Granderson will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Now a ball hit back up the middle. Throw over by Belliard, one away. 
Well, he's really pitching well to this point. The only blemish was that fourth inning home run. Other than that, he's been downright masterful. Derek Jeter will dig in. Took a cold third strike his last time. First pitch coming. Way late on the fastball for strike one. Still pitching well, but you can see he's starting to get pitches up and over the plate. Be careful. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. He struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Second time this afternoon he's gone down on strikes, and that is now eight strikeouts, as you see there. He's been tough to get a handle on. Two away now in the Yankees' sixth, and here's the dangerous Mark Teixeira. Swing and a miss, strike one. Even though that's on the outer half of the plate, he can still get around with that thing. Here it comes. And that misses one and one. And this ball will be chopped foul. Two out, nobody on. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Now a ball hit high and deep out there to left center field. And Manny will put this one away, and that'll be that. Nothing doing here this half. We're through six full. L.A.'s on top, 9-1. to one. Ronnie Belliard will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. And here's the first pitch. Fouled straight back. To back fastballs here as he takes control 0 and 2. Matt, he better get a stool if he wants to hit those. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. And you want to talk about a perfect two strike pitch, have a look. Right on the corner away. And he couldn't have done anything with that thing, even if he did swing. One gone now in the L.A. 7th. And here's the table setter, Rafael Fercal. And a called strike on the corner. He didn't like that call. I don't blame him. One and one. And this works in the outer half of the plate in, but it runs a bit too much. No contact there, and it's one and two. Here's the pitch. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two.
swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. Foul back. Hit hard, but foul. He'll try again, one, two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. This guy's thrown more than 50 pitches since coming in, so we'll see how much longer they can let him go. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. The 3-2 pitch. And a fastball that's lifted the other way out to left. Gardner is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Matt Kemp will dig in. He singled his last time around. Here's the first pitch to him. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Comes back with a fastball again as he's in control. 0-2. Tough to lay off there, but it's called a ball one and two. And a good two-strike pitch. Make him go up and get it. Now a hard liner towards short. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. Matt, you can just tell he's in one of those grooves where he can do no wrong. That's hit number four for him right there. Andre Ethier will get another crack, one for three thus far. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Swing and a high pop-up. Could be tough back behind third. And that's a fair ball. Throw into third. And this will come in far too late. He's in there at third. Dodgers showing some fight right here with two outs. Runners at the corners now. And they'll try to convert this two-out opportunity into a run or two. Manny Ramirez will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. From the belt, kicks and deals. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. And Manny's a notorious high ball hitter, so good job there of keeping it down. Outside for a ball, one and one. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. ball hit towards Jeter and the ball hops on to Shera but he's able to stay with it nice play for the final out Alex Rodriguez set to get things started in the next half inning we'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh get up and stretch the Dodgers lead it nine to one Alex Rodriguez will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh
swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. No wasting any time there, Matt. He gets the fastball to begin the at-bat and just shoots it right back where it came from. Robinson Cano will dig in one for two thus far. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Not a bad idea to work him up and in here with that hard stuff. On the ground is short. This could be two. Belliard for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Don't see this combination too often, but it's effective as they get the double play. Jorge Posada will have another go. He struck out looking his last time. Lined up the middle, and that'll get down for a base hit. This is a little chuck and duck right here. This one starts over the middle of the plate and never moves, so this ball is whacked right back up the middle. Nick Johnson will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Now coming. Nick Johnson. Now here's the first pitch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. And a waste pitch there, one and two. Yeah, when guys start missing up late in the ball game, it can sometimes be a warning flag. Two out with the man at first. Comes set, now the pitch. Now a swing and a ball hit high in the air into shallow left center. And he gets there as he had a lot of ground to cover that time and the side is retired. So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Eighth inning coming up. Dodgers lead this one 9-1. to one. James Loney will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. The throw pulls him off, but that was a good job of knowing where the bag is, and he gets back in time. Casey Blake will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Now that Casey Blake. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And he might not get a better pitch to hit this entire at bat. A little bit low that time. Maybe outside as well. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. Teixeira is under it. Two gone. Russell Martin will step in. 0 for 4 with an RBI in this one. Now that Russell Martin. Line softly to the right side, but foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a ball lined hard towards short. Up with it is Jeter. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. So 
they breeze through this half of the inning. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. L.A.'s on top, 9-1. to one. Nick Swisher will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0-1. Yeah, that's a good rip at that thing. Hitters love the high fastball. And a big rip by Swisher, but he comes up empty. It's 0-2. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Very strong work on the mound so far. Gave up just that home run in the fourth, and that has been it to this point. Brett Gardner will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. First pitch to him. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And he'll flip it over to Billingsley, covering good fundamentals there for the out. This is hard when your momentum is taking you one way and you got to throw another, but he was right on the money. Curtis Granderson will dig in. He homered back in the fourth. Another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. Manny will have a look, but this is going to be off the wall. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Let's take a look one more time. This ball is crushed, and it bounces off the wall out there, but a good job of holding him just the two bases. Ronald Belisario is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Derek Jeter will dig in. Strikeout victim is last time. First pitch on the way. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. On the ground towards second, and it eats up Belliard. But an excellent recovery as he throws his man out to retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We've played eight full. Dodgers out in front, nine to one. Jason Repko will step in, one for four in the ballgame. First pitch coming. Ninth Wait. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Matt trying to work the fastball in on the label. That was a good pitch. And low, it's a ball and a strike. The pitch. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Boy, look at this thing. Two seamer with some hair. That's tough to get a bat on. Ronnie Belliard will stand in. Called out on strikes his last time.
And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Right back with another fastball. It's 0-2 now. Had success with that fastball. Why not turn to it again, 0-2? Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Ready with another 0-2. Grounded foul. One out, nobody on. Hit on the ground towards first. And Teixeira steps on first himself to record the out. Rafael for call will step in. One for four in the ball game. Rafael for call. Fastball too high and it's one and oh. And when guys start getting tired, they don't arch their backs enough and start leaving pitches up. Be careful. Here's a ground ball to first. Teixeira just does this himself at first, and that'll do it. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Part of the order, 3, 4, and 5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. Dodgers lead this one 9-1. to one. Mark Teixeira will try again, 0 for 3 thus far. First pitch coming. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Boy, he'd need a sand wedge to get that. To right field. Ethier is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Rodriguez will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Here's the first offering. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Swing and a ball pulled down the line to third. Base hit. Eight hits in the ball game for it, but they've had just one run to show for it. That has been what you call scattering eight hits. Robinson Cano will get another crack. One for three thus far. Here's a fastball upstairs, 1-0. Got to make sure at the plate you don't hit one on the ground here. In the dirt here. And that runner's flat-footed that time. He's got to be moving on those. his 2-0 fastball, but he was way behind, 2-1. And, and I'll tell you, he better not start falling in love with that location because that's a spot where he's going to get burned. Runners on first with one down. A check on A-Rod, now the pitch. Now a hard liner towards short, and that's in there, base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. Jorge Posada will step in. A base hit in his last time. Jorge Posada. Now here's the first pitch. 
Hit hard. And this is going to be a foul ball. Well struck, but foul over by the coaching box. He's set, now the pitch. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Swing and a ball line softly to the left side. And that's through into left, a base hit. And Rodriguez is in to score. Doesn't matter how hard you hit it as long as it falls. This one gets down out there and will be good enough for a base hit and an RBI. Nick Johnson will try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. Now batting, Nick Johnson. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. Yeah, down near the thighs. That's a fastball he'll have a tough time elevating on. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Grounded foul. Here he comes again, one, two. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Oh, a tough play for call. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Worth a second look here. Not only does he knock the thing down, but great presence of mind to get the ball quickly to second. That's just a perfect play. Nick Swisher will dig in now. Switch hitter batting left. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Boy, if any time you can go on the road and come away with a victory, you will take it. These guys played with a lot of character this afternoon, and the result is going to speak for itself. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. Well, Matt, he started to wear down there a bit at the end, but still, seven and two-thirds good innings on him. He was the difference in this one. So that'll just about wrap things up here in this one. For Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this afternoon. Once again, the final score, the Dodgers win it 9-3. This has been a presentation of MLB 10 The Show. For more, log on to MLB10TheShow.com. This one's in the books, as we say. So long, everybody.